Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I've got a little riddle for you. Can you tell me what you get when you mix an engineering marvel with an absolute aquarium freak? Well, I can tell you now, the answer is Bill Wan. All right, so yeah, Bill Wan's been the topic of today's video, and um, I guess you don't end up with a 10 foot by 10 foot by 24 foot aquarium in your home without absolutely earning the title of being a reef freak. And uh, I guess um, one of the other side effects of having a tank that big is that there's not a lot of equipment on the shelf uh, that you can buy that will run an aquarium like that. You start talking uh, public aquarium size, and even in some cases, even bigger than that. And one thing that's a little bit different from most public aquarium uh, fish tanks that I've seen is this is a dedicated reef tank. Um, so it's not just a matter of having water flow and filtration, but actually also supplementing that water to make sure the corals can grow. And that becomes a real challenge. So with that in mind, it's one of the world's largest living reef tanks. And uh, Bill's had to face that challenge kind of almost on his own. Like I said, there's not those products on the shelf. So he's thankfully, <laughs> thankfully for all of us, he's got the uh, skill set, the engineering uh, know-how and uh, the, the equipment behind him to uh, produce some incredible bits of equipment which uh, just work on a reef tank of this scale. Now, thankfully, just like in the automotive industry and things like that, when um, people race in Formula One and a new bit of technology comes along there and over the years it filters down into our passenger cars, the same kind of thing's happening with Bill's reef tank. It just happens on a really much quicker scale. So products that he develops for his own gigantic reef tank filter down into uh, into the everyday aquarist's hands. And um, that's where we're at today in that we can get this incredible equipment that Bill has designed and built for his tank. Then he scales them down and makes them available for us. So calcium reactors is something that I'd like to talk about today because you know that I love calcium reactors, but they do have a couple of drawbacks. And uh, thankfully for us, Bill's taken on those drawbacks head on and has developed a couple of products that will make uh, those problems a, a worry of the past. So let's get into a couple of these things. The first thing he's got is the automated calcium reactor, which is an item that takes away the, uh, the worry and the concern and the fiddliness, I guess, of tuning a calcium reactor. He's made that completely uh, digitally controlled. You don't have to worry about adjusting um, fine little adjustments on uh, CO2 controllers or regulators or uh, worrying about measuring your, efflu your effluent rates. Bill's automated calcium reactor does all of that for you with a simple push button up and down. If you want more alkalinity calcium mixtures coming through your effluent, press up. If you want less, press down. Simple as that. Doesn't get any easier. The next thing he's got, which uh, Bill's just sent me a video that he wanted me to share with you guys uh, today, and it's available for all calcium reactors. It doesn't need to be um, just for his automated calcium reactors, although it obviously works really nicely with them, is uh, something that tackles the problem with calcium reactors of running out of CO2 in your gas bottle. It's a problem I've faced a few times myself and I'll just uh, be looking at my tank and go, no, things look a little bit off. I'll have a look at the um, alkalinity tester and go, yeah, my elk's plummeted, why is that? Have a look at the calcium reactor, see I've run out of CO2. It's run out of CO2 for a few days now and my alkalinity is just bottomed through the floor. So it's a problem and it's, I guess it's no different to dosing. You can run out of uh, dosing liquid in your containers, but it's something that we can address. And thankfully for all of us, Bill has with this really nifty little device, which automatically switches CO2 tanks for you. So enough rambling from me. Let's uh, switch over to Bill. He's going to show us the uh, device in action and um, yeah, let's check it out. Hi, this is Bill over at Aquarium Engineering, and I'm going to try and explain to you guys how the operation of our automatic CO2 switcher works, the switch between your primary tank and your secondary tank, in case you're running a CO2 in your primary tank. We also have one of our 8-inch standard calcium reactors with the automatic controller and the automatic valve box, and all the valves are built into this box here. We're putting this all together here just so you can see how it integrates with our calcium reactor or really any calcium reactor you might have, just like a general one. So to start, we have our primary CO2 tank, primary CO2 regulator, and we have our secondary CO2 tank and our secondary regulator. So how this works basically is your primary tank is on all the time. See, right now it says it's using the primary tank. So when the primary tank gets empty, say you're on vacation or something like that, it'll automatically switch to your secondary cylinder or tank. And that'll basically save your tank from running out of CO2 and you're out dropping. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of how that works. So right now we're on primary. We got our gauge there. Now I'm gonna turn off the primary cylinder. I'm gonna open up the CO2 because the reactor right now is calling for CO2. 
and go down. It automatically switches over to the secondary cylinder, which is now what we're pumping for. Okay? Now, the second that your primary cylinder comes back online, so say you change the tank, put a new cylinder on there, open it up, bam, it automatically resets the primary tank and then the secondary goes back to secondary. It's really that simple. Um, there's really not much else I can explain to you about it. It's plug and play, all John Guest fittings. Um, I'll give you some rundown down here. This is our pressure sensor, standard regulator. Um, this can work with your regulator or our regulators. The kit will come with two regulators, primary and secondary, or you can just buy it with the primary regulator pre-plumbed. Comes with the CO2 line, so you have your CO2 line going to the primary CO2, you have your secondary CO2 line going to your secondary CO2. This is your outlet line to the reactor, and if you use one of our reactors, it goes into the CO2 port in on the automatic valve module, then it comes out here and goes into the calcium reactor. Inside the automatic valve module, we have dual CO2 valves, so if one fails, you always have one as a backup. So quite a bit of redundancy there. We also have a check valve built in between the two. Um, this is your outlet line from your reactor. It goes into here, we have the outlet line valve, and this line here is fitting effluent back to the tank is where the reactor effluent goes back to the tank out. It's really that simple. Um, we have a timing system here. That's about it. Um, how this would integrate with one of our reactors to save your system in case you run out of CO2. Um, thanks for watching. And again, I'm Bill Wan at Aquarium Engineering. Thanks. All right, guys, that's all I've got from Bill today. I just really wanted to share this video with you because I'm personally really excited. I've got one of, or I've got another one of Bill's calcium reactors coming out to Australia. It's not just a love of dash hounds that we share. It's also uh, continually evolving and developing this um, aquarium hobby. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have one of Bill's automated calcium reactors here, including one of his uh, CO2 switches. So as soon as that lands here, I'll give you a good thorough overview of how the system works, the quality, give you plenty of pictures, videos, so you can have a really good look at it yourself. Feel free to ask any questions. Um, I, I just, I'm a huge fan of Bill's work um, and I'm really excited to bring more of it into Australia. So um, for those of you watching in America, <laughs> I mean, you guys have got it lucky over there. You can give Bill a call, chat to him about your aquarium needs because um, he doesn't just have a, a list of things that are off the shelf. He does have some sort of cover all items, but um, he can make anything to meet your requirements, um, whether it be titanium heat exchangers or calcium reactors or some mind blowing skimmers. Uh, electronic control devices, you name it, uh, Bill can design something to meet your system. So if you're looking at building a huge system or whether it be uh, just a, a really high-end system, I recommend getting in touch with the guys at uh, Aquarium Engineering. Have a chat to them about your needs and um, yeah, get some of the best quality gear coming to you from the world. So um, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions for either myself or Bill, be sure to pop it in the comments section down below. Um, Till next time guys, thanks for watching and uh, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.